Bush comes in ah. for Sean Marion. And it's Matthew Delavadova in for Irving. Here's Young. He has six. Passes it to Lynn. Lots of room. And James pulls it down. James has got his fourth rebound in this one. Peters on the wing. Here's the three. Back to LeBron. Pass to Delavidova. Back to LeBron. Feeds it to Delavidova. Six on the shot clock. Second shot opportunity. And the yeah, it's like a slot and all right because right it's LeBron James. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Here's Young. LeBron with some nice D. Would have been lucky to knock that shot down. Yeah, that kind of shot will definitely get you the high brows from the coach and maybe get you a seat on the bench, too. Delfino with the steal. Well, that was really a gift there. A nice steal, but probably a pass that shouldn't have been made in the first place. The Cavaliers leading by four. LeBron James on the wing. And again, LeBron missing. Poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. Well, the Lakers were coming into the season with only about $11 million in salary committed, a chance to attract two max free agents, but they gave Kobe Bryant that two-year $50 million extension. Well, that seems to possibly postpone the rebuild that the Lakers have by maybe two more years. And Waiters has it in the corner. Poked loose. Young outside. And Matthew Delavidova is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. 30 seconds left to play here in the third. Young outside. Over in the corner, Delfino. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Delfino's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Cavaliers leading. LeBron kicks to Delavidova. Can't get the putback. Young with no one. Oh, and he just knocked oh, down the buzzer, Peter. Oh, what a monster shot. The We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Lakers <coughs> by two. It's the NBA on 2K oh, Sports that. from Quicken Loans Arena. Here's LeBron. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. They've got Young. Carlos Boozer out there with Carlos Delfino. Then it's Jeremy Lin. And it's Sakri in it. The pivot spot, Manning the middle. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. You know, even from here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. And he's good on the second. Cleveland didn't quite meet their expectations last year, in part by how poor they shot at home. Hard to get wins when everything you put up seems to rim out. And Young kicks to Lynn. To the left side wing. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Clutch. It can be doubly defeating, Clark, with the missed shots here at home. Not only are you not scoring, but then the crowd loses interest. They get out. That's a great point. I mean, one of the benefits of being at home is having your crowd there energized and pulling for you. And if you're not making shots, they tend to sit on their hands. Love, no luck. Lakers leading by four. And he's going up for the alley-oop. 
looky here, looky here. How about that one? That play. Take that play and put it in the alley-oop textbook for future reference. You're perfectly done. You put it on a platter for him. He Gosh, sure did. Neat. And how about the touch on the finish, too? That was really nicely done. Not what they drew up, but they'll take the two points. Outside, Lynn. The feet, DeYoung. Just five to shoot. From outside, off the mark. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. Irving kicks to James. The rim rattling two oh. handed James. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move, too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. Well, that's how you said it. Two hands and hammer it down. Los Angeles calls timeout. Well, few would have predicted back when Kevin Love was drafted fifth out of UCLA in 2008 that he'd become the superstar player we see today. You know, he's transformed his body and expanded his game year after year. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris. Gentlemen, Byron Scott had some advice for his team in that last timeout. He told his team to keep looking for three-point opportunities, saying their perimeter defense isn't doing a good job getting out on our shooters. So let's keep firing away until they decide to guard us. And you talk about the physical transformation for Kevin Love. Leaner, quicker, and stronger. Yeah, credit yoga and Pilates. He's trying to be the very best he can be, and he's putting in the work to do that so it can it actually help him more at the defensive end. Well, that's a solidly executed pick play. I mean, it paid dividends with that nice dunk. Exactly the result they were looking for. Yeah, it worked so well. I mean, he got set and did not shuffle his feet. Really well done there offensively. Vera Zhao setting the pick for James. Miller with a wide open look. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. That's demoralizing. They needed a stop there, and instead, they give up three points on an open look. Young outside. And foul oh, called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. You know, there's always a lot of nicknames in the NBA. I, I loved what became of Nick Young last year in L.A. All of a sudden, he dubbed next himself time out of Swaggy P. It was like 67%. It seemed like the ridiculous. whole league kind of loved watching him play and referring to him by that nickname. And free throw yeah. good from Young. <sighs> and Nick Swaggy Young, they call him. Swaggy P. Never swaggier than last season. The top scoring rate of his career and some of the best efficiency as well. He has some huge nights. And Young, a good ball handler. He can get his shot whenever he wants. And that's often, Kevin. Don't expect a lot of assists from him. This is a guy who, when he touches the ball, it's going up. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. He feeds it to Lynn. Back to Young. Now Delfino. Back to Young. And again, the Lakers no good. The Cavaliers trail by five. Miller with a wide open look. Another three for Cleveland. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Young pass to Boozer. Outside, Lynn. Boozer is green on Irving. Dishes to Sacre. And Young, here we go. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. You know, it's no secret that the Lakers were really terrible last year. There's no other way to say it. And everything that could have gone wrong actually did. Murphy's Law on full display. For a historical perspective on the Lakers, guys, last year was their worst season since they moved out to L.A. from Minnesota back in 1960. And they vowed to get back, however, and I believe them. I mean, this isn't a franchise that has a history of being passive when it comes to improvement. 
Irving kicks to LeBron. And the bucket counts. Of course, of course that goes line. in, because that's LeBron's thing. Point play. Ladies and gentlemen, they'll be counting on even more points from him. That's essential if they're going to pull this game out. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. I'll switch, I'll switch to um, comes in Parsons. They automatically make them slide for no reason. It's Thompson and for for Kevin Love. Nelson it. dishes to Young. Young, right side, to the paint. Here's Randall. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D, it, I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. James wide open. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Uh, some tired is bullshit. Irving's got his seventh assist Wasn't in the game. Whole second half, pretty much being tired. Hit like hit three. And the Lakers call time 40 here. feet. And one. Cavs tried to make a push for the playoff last season in a way going against the grain, but instead a disappointing season when it was all over. Coach and front office questioning the team effort level. Well, the Cavs did make some big changes from last season, and they shouldn't have a problem staying motivated, putting in the effort this year. Well, you know, Kevin, last year they were a very young group and didn't have the vet presence they might have needed. With LeBron coming in, they've got brilliance in every category, leadership and play. He's got the clout of his championship rings. The whole mindset of the team is about to go to a very different and high level. Davis, the pass to Parsons. The Lakers need to get it. And again, the Lakers, no good. They've clearly been the better team on the glass. It hasn't necessarily translated to the scoreboard yet. But you feel like it's going to, to reward this team at some point. They've got to continue to maintain the energy. LeBron, good. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, if you just looked at assist as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. Here's Bryant. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. And the Cavaliers with possession. They're on a 14-6 run. Miller, no luck. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, because on, you know, if you continue on. to give up open Stop looks like that, uh, you're in big trouble. Nelson kicks to Parsons. Stolen by Verizon. And now the Cavaliers. Fast break. Miller dishes to James. The kick out to Irving. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. 16 point for Kyrie Irving. He's been a different guy in the second half, guys. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Los Angeles calls timeout. You know, LeBron has an interesting tradition during the playoffs. He turns his cell phone off, stops watching sports television, and instead he watches movies and reads books. That sounds like a good life lesson for all of us. Look now for Cleveland. Brendan Haywood, he's checked in for Verja. Marion comes in for James. And it's Waiters in for Miller. And for LeBron, that tradition started a handful. Oh, oh, look out, man! The rim is shaking. Talk about putting something extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, Clark, you know, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Still, I mean, it's startling that he'd even try that right now. Nelson with it, and it's Waiters picking him up. 